Sakang, who caught up with Casey earlier on this week. It's exciting to get to talk to you again. It's been forever. How are you feeling about finally getting your chance to prove yourself on the big stage at Key Arena? Very good. Uh, missing out of like from TI last year was uh, very sad. So that was a big letdown for me. And uh, it probably made me be able to focus and like do more and do everything more to be able to come here again. And when we last saw you on the international main stage, you were winning in TI3. So what, how have you evolved over, as a team over the last few years, especially considering you have the same roster? Well, after TI4, when we split up a bit, uh, it was a very, like, very bad year for us. So when we got back together half a year ago, uh, it felt very good. Did it feel like old times or? Yeah, it did. It didn't feel like we were apart for some time. It's just everything felt like as a usual day. What is the benefit to knowing each other that well? You've been playing together that long. I would say that there are no surprises. Like you know how everyone like works and what they like and what they don't like. So you're able to just focus on the game and it's a lot of teams that fall because of things that happens outside of the game. I'm going to ask you to describe using just one word each of your teammates. We'll start with your, your good buddy Loda. Serious? Serious. Yeah. He really wants to win. Uh, Admiral Bulldog. Uh, Twitch chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> AGM? Weird. Weird. Would He's he weird in an interesting way. He's, uh, he's of his own kind. And then S4. He's a very smart player. He thinks a lot. Uh, he's probably the smartest player that I've played with in uh, that way. So having him back was very important to us. You and Loda have been friends for so long. He's the one that introduced you to Dota. How has that changed over the years? Are you guys still just as close now as you once were? And, and how, how is that as teammates? Yeah, we are. Uh, it's interesting to play with someone that you've known for so long. It's like having your best friend on your team and since we play so much it's important to have that because we really play some we spend so much time playing you obviously had what it took to win ti a few years ago what has changed what what is it what does it really take now versus then to be the champion the competition today is so much uh, higher or better you don't even know like if you're gonna win the first round or go to the finals because all the teams are so good if you just look at the wildcard games now any of the teams can win. What was your reaction to not scoring a direct invite this time around? I was a bit upset and sad that we didn't get it. But uh, in uh, the end, I think playing in the qualifier was good for us. We needed to play games to practice. How important is the way that you prepare before TI versus how well you adapt to what happens once TI starts? I think both is equally important. The practice before you really, you like really want to pin down how you, like how you want to play during this uh, like tour. Do you want to play a lot of different things? Do you want to focus on like, uh, like one uh, strat? And sometimes some team starts to pick one hero and then everyone copies it. And like then you, you have to make a decision. Do you want to copy them and, or try to take their strat? Or do you want to leave it and try to counter it? And that is a very hard thing to decide is there anything that you want to say to the Dota 2 fans? I mean, there are a lot of Alliance fans who have really stuck with you guys throughout the last few years and are excited to see you on the main stage. I'm just very happy that they have kept following us, uh, even though like the last two years where we didn't perform so well, they have like, still kept being there and shared for us and like writing to us. And it really means a lot for us to be able to make them happy as, as uh, well. So when I go there and play, I want to make the fans proud and happy of us. So it means a lot. Your names are on this. I was actually around like looking before. <laughs> are you having a hard time like looking at me because yeah, this yeah, is here? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the real thing, as you know. Did you just caress it? Oh, such a beauty. <laughs> It's like having a hot chick sitting next to me. Mm. Guys, can we fix this? <laughs> what would it mean to be able to put your names on that a second time? It would mean everything as well. Uh, like everyone's goal is to be the best. So I, I really want to be one of the guys who's able to put their name there twice. You think you can do it? I think so.